The loss of the Aral Sea is one of the most haunting examples of climate change and industrialization on the planet. Once a mighty body of water covering a landmass half the size of England, all that now remains of the oasis is a handful of rusting ship carcasses on the baking sand. Shocking new images have captured the moment climate change experts explored the now landlocked ships. They were taking part in a nearby international conference which will discuss the remediation of consequences of the RLC catastrophe, being held in Tashkent. UNESCO has branded the demise of the RLC as an example of an environmental tragedy. The disappearance of this huge body of water was caused by a combination of climate change and the demands of the Uzbek cotton industry, which continues to thrive today. The Aral Sea was once the fourth largest inland expanse of water in the world, covering an area of 26,000 square miles, larger than the state of West Virginia. But since the 1960s, a devastating regime of Soviet irrigation and inadequate replenishment programs has all but expunged the sea from the face of the earth. By 1997, the RLC had already shrunk to 10% of its original size and split into two four separate lakes, with the majority of the remaining water in Uzbekistan, and a smaller portion left in Kazakhstan. In the intervening years, the water continued to disappear in the eastern region of the RLC is now known as the Aralkum Desert. The Soviet Union's desire to develop huge cotton plantations is widely blamed for the creation of the desert. Cotton remains the main source of income for many newly independent republics. To sustain its growing cotton industry, construction of irrigation canals started in the 1940s. By 1960, some 60 cubic kilometers of water was being diverted to the land each year, causing the level of water to drop by an average of 31 to 35 inches each year. The shrunken sea has ruined the once robust fishing economy and left fishing ships stranded in a sandy wasteland. In an interview with National Geographic, Yusip Kamlov, a senior researcher in wind energy at the Uzbekistan Academy of Sciences, said, This is what the end of the world looked like. If we ever have Armageddon, the people of Karakal Pakistan are the only ones who will survive, because we are already living it. A report by the International Labour Organization revealed that there are systematic plans in place to eradicate forced and child labour from the cotton farms in Uzbekistan.